So in previous videos, we've shown you how to create a channel setting in LASX using a traditional illumination and excitation emission system. But what if you have a slightly more complicated system such as this one, which includes a six line multicolor LED, plus uh, a quad cube and an emission filter wheel. And on some systems, we also can put in an excitation filter wheel as well. To get started, we start the same way as we would normally, which is to come here to your channel and choose Fluo. Fluo then will allow you to click through the different cubes. You can see that as I click through these single cubes, single lines light up that allow me to turn that line on or off. You can see that I can also adjust the percentage intensity of each line. One interesting thing about the quad cube is because it has no excitation filter on this particular quad, I can select any of these six lines for excitation. However, if you look at the bandpass filters for the emission, I can only uh, let through these four bandpass filters. And now to clean up this emission filter, I also have these um, five options to me that are available in the external filter wheel. So for instance, I have 100%, which is blank. Uh, then I have a sci-fi filter, a Tritzy filter, a Fitzy filter, and a DAPI emission filter. I'll show you how that looks in a little bit. But first, let's say we want to set up a more traditional single bandpass filter uh, for, for the green channel. So I will select the Fitzy cube then I will select my 470 line. And again, I can increase or decrease this intensity. Then let's go live, focus. And then from here, we would want to play with our exposure as we would normally. The last thing you might want to do is change this color to green, for example. So after you've selected green, type in Fitzy for the name whatever you want, then right click and hit save. Okay, and now you have that under the menu here. Now what happens if you would like to set up a Fitzy channel in your quad cube? Now I click over to my quad cube and again, I still have my intensity the same on this channel. Let me show you really quickly though, if you don't have the light on, it will look like this. Then the next thing to do here, so this is what it looks like with 100% of the light passing through. Now, if you really want to prevent crosstalk, we highly recommend you choose the Fitzy channel and this will cut down on any crosstalk because it will add another bandpass filter in the emission light path. So if we're happy with this setup, then I want to right click save and we'll call this one, instead of Fitzy, we'll call it Fitzy Quad. Under our menu, we have Fitzy Quad and we have just the regular Fitzy single cube. So the last thing I wanna go over is what is the difference between using that single cube and that quad cube? Well, let's compare side by side. So just with the side by side comparison, let's go live with the Fitzy quad, and you'll see that this is the histogram. I have this on auto scale, and the highest intensity pixel is around 9,500. Now, if we switch over to the Fitzy channel, we get a lot more photons, maybe a thousand more. So that's the difference. Although for most people, the, the trade-off in terms of speed is definitely worth it. So if you were doing a multi-channel acquisition, this external filter wheel here with the quad cube, this combination saves you a lot of time. And that is the reason why this quad cube is used uh, as opposed to the single filters.